to our channel. Today, we are covering the questions and answer on Aruba Certified Network Security Associate HPE 6 A78. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, first refer to the exhibit. So, how can you use the thumbprint? Options are Option A Install this thumbprint on management stations to use as two factor authentication along with manager username and passwords. This will ensure managers connect from valid stations. Option B Copy the thumbprint to another sorry to other Aruba switches to establish a consistent SSH key for all switches. This will enable managers to connect to the switches securely with less effort. Option C. When you first connect to the switch with SSH from a management station, make sure that the thumbprint matches to the ensure that a man in T, he mid die, M I T M attack is not occurring. Option D. Install this thumbprint on management stations. The station can then authenticate with the thumbprint instead of admins having no, sorry, having to enter usernames and passwords. The correct option is option C. Next question is. A company has an Aruba OS controller based solution with a WPA3 Enterprise WLAN which authenticates wireless clients to Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager CPPM. The company has decided to use digital certificates for authentication. A user's Windows domain computer has had certificates installed on it. However, the networks and connections window shows that authentication has failed for the user. The mobility controllers MC's radius events show that it is a receiving access rejects from sorry for the authentication attempt. What is one place that you can you look for deeper insight into why? This authentication attempt is falling. Options are Option A The reports generated by Aruba Clear Pass Insight. Option B The radius events within the CPPM event viewer. Option C The alerts tab in the authentication record in the CPPM access tracker. And option D The packets captured on the MC controller plane destined to UDP 1812. The correct option is option C. Next question is first refer to this. Now, you need to ensure that only management stations in subnet 192.168.1.0 by 24 can access the Aruba OS switches CLI Web U1 and REST interfaces. The company also wants to let managers use these stations to access other parts of the network what should you do options are option a establish a control plane policy 
class that selects traffic from 192.168.1.0524. Option B. Specify 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 as authorized IP manager address. Option C. Configure the switch to listen for these protocols on OOBM only. And option D. Specify VLAN 100 as the management VLAN for the switches. The correct option is option A. Thank you.